ambition for me is about identifying what I value and what's important in life. So what did Joanna Kidman say yesterday? Who are the people who are going to bury me and what, what matters about those people in my life? And ambition is, well, how do I achieve that? How do I achieve a life that's well lived, that matters to the people who matter to me and who feel, I guess, like I've done, I've done things more than just for myself. So on that definition, are you ambitious? Yeah, I am really ambitious actually, in that sense, um, doing, and doing what I value and living to my values is actually core to everything I do in life, from the little stuff that some days is hard to the really big stuff. Is it, I'm always driven by by what matters and what's important in achieving that, yeah. Why do you think you're that way? <laughs> it's a really complex set of kind of life experience, I guess, and personality. It's, it was always important in our family that we tried hard and made the most of, I guess, the opportunities that we had been given, and we were given a lot of opportunities when we were kids. And, but also, I think I spent quite a lot of time in my sort of 20s thinking about the kind of world that I wanted to be part of building and what, what were the problems that I saw in the world and it was really important to me to be part of solving those, I guess. Can you describe for me the most ambitious person that you know? Um... I don't know if I can actually because I don't really surround myself by people who are just driven by the idea of ambition. I surround myself by people who live their values and that feels different to me I think. People who strive to solve big problems in the world or um, improve the lives of people around them or to live their lives right, I guess, by what right means by them, they don't necessarily look like what we would traditionally see as ambitious. So I guess when I hear the word ambitious, I tend to think of people who I don't necessarily respect in terms of their value set. Yeah. But in terms of the definition of ambition that you described yeah. earlier, who, are there characteristics or people that pop into your head when you think about Yeah, I mean, I would say that there are people who, in my life, dedicate huge amounts of their time and resources to, to people other than themselves, would probably, they would be the most ambitious people that I would think about. And, and the funny thing is, is that those are often people who you don't know about, and who people wouldn't know about or aren't, who we don't tend to celebrate or put up on a pedestal, I guess. Um, and I'm trying to think of the people who I look up to in that regard, and they're often women. You know, they're often women who are juggling multiple needs, but they're all of their own lives, of their children, of their families, but they're also trying to do right by other women as well uh, and and often unrecognized or unknown yeah I, I yeah I really I think for me it's other women it's other women who with constrained opportunities still work really hard to offer offer something to other people yeah is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious by your definition Mm. Um, you know, I, because I'm a systems thinker, I often think of the constraints in a system to allow people to realise what really matters. And for me, the stuff that really matters are things like taking care of the environment, taking care of other people, being innovative, progressive, exploring new solutions and big ideas. And I think there are constraints in our society which prevents that from happening and you know for women there are 
unique and particular constraints on our, in terms of our expectations, in terms of where we can go and how we're allowed to behave and and what people see as acceptable behaviour is for people who are striving, I guess, to, to live their values. So yeah, I guess I would think that we could be a society that was more encouraging of innovation and of people living communitarian values, yeah.